Welcome back to Hoax MC. Today we're playing on the vanilla server once again, and things have been going super, super well. Well, except for when my house got blown up. That wasn't great. Now, in today's video, we found a secret under Craner's house. And I don't think you're gonna expect what I do next. If everything goes right, Craner should never even realize that he's been trolled. Now, drop a like if you think that I should troll Jelly next. And anyway, let's get into the video. And we are back in Hoax MC. We are at Slogo Worldwide headquarters right now. And things are probably looking a lot better. I've done a ton of upgrades since you probably last saw it. And look at this. We even have a receptionist now. Say hello to Susan. Hello, Susan. Go away. Oh, okay. Well, that's very nice of you. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tour to kick this video off. Obviously, this is sort of like the lobby area over here. If I just go down here, this is the garden now. It's looking nice and natural. Oh, yeah. And this is Alan. Hello, Alan. Go away. Okay, I've got very mean receptionists, apparently. Anyway, over here is our elevator. Now, ignore the out of order one. This is still slightly work in progress, remember? If we go up to the first floor. Oh, yeah. This is the offices. Now, all of these are sort of just temporary right now. But maybe soon, some of you guys might join me. Maybe we could fill this entire tower with a bunch of Slogo fans. Anyway, uh, up we go for the next one. Here. Boom! Welcome to the penthouse apartment. This is my place. This is where I like to hang out. Obviously, we've got the red carpeting everywhere. Over here is the kitchen. And I mean, look at the views. We can look out and see everything. Over here is the bedroom. And we've got something playing on the TV. Got a pretty cool bed. I think this is the yeah closet, wardrobe, whatever you want to call it. And then through here, we have the toilet. This is the bathroom. I mean, you can, uh, you can be standing in the shower, doing your thing, and looking out at the beautiful countryside. What else? Also, we have a, an upstairs area over here. Just kind of like a chill area. I'm not... I don't actually remember what this is for. Whatever. And then over here is like another living area. It's pretty cool. And then if we go up another level over here. Whoop. Hey, this is the new chess room. I've pretty much just finished moving all of the stuff in there. There's still a lot more that we need to do. We've got some enchanting tables. It's just looking so awesome. And then if we keep going up over here, we have uh, a couple of floors that are under development. I haven't really got any ideas of what we can do with these right now, so I'm just gonna kind of just leave them. And yeah, and now we can go all the way back down. Obviously still a little bit more work to do, but honestly, I think it is looking really, really cool. I like how I just don't even use the stairs. Sorry, Susan. Okay, I'm sorry. Flipping heck. Now, you might be looking over here and realizing the thing's looking a bit different. The subway is sort of up and running now. It's nearly there. But more importantly, I have upgraded the farm for Pigtown. It is now fully automated. We said we were going to do it in return for something. I can't, I can't remember. It was on my to-do list. So now we have some villagers working in there. And that pops all of the wheat into this chest where we can collect it. It's pretty awesome. That reminds me, is the uh, town hall still completely damaged? Uh, it looks a bit cleaner, but nobody's fixed it. Well, good job, Jelly. We should definitely check on him. Last time we were here, we completely walled him off from the rest of the city. So we'll, we've got to check out how he's doing with that. But I think it's time we discuss today's plan. Crane has been extremely quiet recently. He hasn't been doing much, and I'm getting a little bit suspicious that he's hiding stuff from us. So I think it's time to bring back the X-ray. Now, last time, a lot of you guys snitched on me. So please don't do it again. But yeah. We're going to take the x-ray over to Craner's place and have a look what's going on and see if he's hiding anything from us. Wait, this is the first time you guys get to see the subway system. So uh, pretty much grab that, click that, and away you go. Woohoo! I was actually thinking, in a future video, I could somehow turn this into a troll. Maybe get Craner to pay diamonds to use it or something? I don't know. Let me know if you think that's a good idea. All right, we're pulling up. Here we go. Now, this side of it's obviously not f finished yet. Uh, I'm doing as much as I can, okay? But here we go. We are now at Craner's place. Oh, uh-oh, this signs. That's not good. These aren't the ones that I placed. Your magma troll killed my cat Felix. Don't ever troll me like that again. Oh, this is, must be from Jelly. I think Craner trolled Jelly with magma under a carpet in return for ruining his troll on me. I'm kind of losing track now. That must be the signs that he's left there for him. I guess he hasn't seen that yet, though. Anyway, let's turn on the x-ray and see what's going on at Craner's house. Whoa, there we... What? The... Hold up a second. What is this? Okay, he's either really been hiding something from us or something really weird has happened. Okay, let's just go in the house. Ow! Wait, is that magma? I think Jelly must have put magma in his house to get him back. Okay, well, now we've just been trolled. Wait, there's like even diamonds in this? For some reason, there is a huge chunk of ore right under Craner's house. And he 
hasn't dug it. Wait, there's a, there's a staircase going down there. Is that going into it? Wait, I mean, I don't see anything else. Like, I don't see, unless there's something in there. I don't really see that. All right, you know what? Let's see where this entrance is outside. Ow. Okay. That, oh, that's really annoying. So there's an entrance right here. Oh, it's open. Hang on a second. Let me just turn the x-ray off. That's better. Now we can see things normally. So this just goes down. He's got a nether portal over here. Hang on a second. Yeah, this goes straight past it. What is going on? Has he just never known that there's a huge chunk of ore under his house? Look how many diamonds are there. We are never going to be able to mine all of this. Let me just get in there and see what we can get. Whoa. How? Uh-oh. Okay, there's actually bad mobs in here. That's not good. There's creepers. Do not blow up the diamonds, creeper. No. Great. It just blew up diamonds. But some of them, some of them fell on the ground. That's good. Uh-oh. There is two... Ah! Ow, ow, ow. Okay, that, that's bad. Uh-oh. Okay, there's a witch. Oh, I'm going to die. I'm gonna, actually going to die. Oh, that was a close one. Oh, oh what the? Okay, stop. This is way too dangerous. I managed to get four diamonds, though. And I still have my golden apples, by the way. Apparently, this enchanted golden apple is really rare. So I've just been keeping them on me. You just told me that in the comment section. So, so there's like a ton of gold and diamonds just under Craner's house. And I don't think he knows. Now, he hasn't been doing much with his house, so I've got an idea. What if we convince him to sell us his house? Because that way, we can just dig completely down from the top and get all of that ore, hopefully without him even knowing if he moves out. I mean, I did manage to get four diamonds from that, and we don't actually have any because I think Jelly destroyed them all. And I'm pretty sure Craner doesn't have any either. So maybe we should offer him this enchanted golden apple with some diamonds in return for buying this plot of land. All right, you know what? Let's get some signs, let's get some gear, and let's make this offer. Because if we get this, we are going to be mega rich. All right, I think we should remove Jelly's signs over here. Ow. Okay, that's that hurts. We'll tell him in our signs that Jelly's trolled him with the magma. Hopefully, that will give him even more reason to want to leave. Well, that took some time, but the plan has finally come together. Wow, these things are hard to find. Ow. Why are you walking into me? If it doesn't make sense, it will when I read you this book. This is called A Very Generous Offer. Dearest Crane Stuff, we at Slogo Worldwide would like to make a very generous offer to purchase the plot of land where you live. An extremely rare breed of cow has been found on your property, and we, as Slogan Worldwide, would like to preserve its natural habitat, which happens to be your home. I have placed a very generous offer in the chest with this note to cover any inconvenience this has caused you. By turning to the next page, you accept this offer. Lots of love, Josh. So we're going to put that in here with the golden apple, I guess like this. Let's turn that gold into ore at this furnace. Oh yeah, I put the sign here saying Jelly did that, by the way. There we go, I guess this use the signs that that works and then just like that perfect there is no way he cannot accept this excuse me cow we can't let you get out you're like our entire plan and just like that i think we are done here now i would say it is time to go check out what jelly has been doing wow Picktown's looking way prettier than i remember look at this there's like a little pond over here now wait a second what happened to the wall that's not what 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 is he done he's like turned the wall into his own wall i can't even go in here and there's like a tower over there what the wait what is that hold up a second oh my whoa there's like an entire factory at Jelly's house now. Well, it looks like cutting him off from the rest of the town has been good for him. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just going to leave that be. I think it's time to head back to our house. What is that? What the? What is? Oh, my. Is that the mayor's house? What happened? The mayor's house is burning down. I'm the only one online. How would this? What? We just saw it. Oh, no. Oh, no. The mayor. we got to save the mayor. Oh, 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 okay. No, no, no. The mayor's burning. The mayor's burning. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Mayor, we have to get you out of here. Come on. Oh, oh, I'm gonna die. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's get you to safety. Oh, that was a close one. Okay, let's just attach him over here for now. What just happened? The entire place literally just burnt down. Was this jelly? Did jelly strike on pig town again? I feel like I've been set up. Like, it's been made to look like I did this, but it wasn't me. Is there like a tripwire or something? Well, uh, there's no saving it now. I think uh, our best bet is to make sure the mayor is safe. I don't really know what we can do next. All right, come with me, mayor. <laughs> I don't, don't really know what to do with you. For now, I'm just going to put him inside of my secret underground area. I don't really... This is not going to be easy to get him in, though. Any chance you just come down? Yeah, didn't think it would be that easy. There. Oh, sort of. Come on. There you go. All right, let me just block that off. 
All right, well, Mayor, I think you should be safe down here. I guess I've kind of low-key kidnapped you, but uh, I'm sure you'll be fine. Anyway, I think that's where I'm going to end this one. These episodes just get crazier and crazier. If you enjoyed that video, check some of the other videos on the screen. They are, they're pretty good. You'll like them.